Hi, I'm Nikki Randolph with this edition of the Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. And today I'm here to talk about the sixth annual Wounded Warrior Weekend that the Kent Island American Legion Post 278 and the Kent Island Fisherman Club host every year. Today I have Mason Shelby joining me from the Kent Island Fisherman Club and we're going to tell you just a little bit about what our Wounded Warrior Weekend is all about. But first, you need to write these dates down, April 25th through the 26th. And that's when we are going to bring soldiers down from Walter Reed Hospital who have been wounded in combat, are undergoing extensive rehabilitation. And our whole goal was to give them a pretty much a stress-free weekend of nothing but fishing, fun, and fun, and fun. So Mason, you've been with me since the beginning, since yes. we did the very first Wounded Warrior weekend. So tell me how we got involved or how I, you know... Talk well, to you guys into doing this. We have a number of veterans and also members who are members of the American Legion in our fishing club. Right. Uh, which are Ken Island Fishermen uh, is, a, is Chapter 7 of the Maryland Saltwater Sportsmen's Association. Mm -hmm. And um, our president, Bert, Bert Olmstead, uh, he has made it a priority to work with the American Legion and making this a excellent event. And oh. it has been for every year. It's been totally off the hook. I remember when we first decided that we were going to do something for the soldiers up at Walter Reed, uh, we thought, okay, Kent Island, what in the world could we do? And we're like, oh, we could take them fishing because after all, the Chesapeake Bay is in our backyard and they got them big old striper fishers or fishing that we can catch, <laughs> whatever. And um, so I went to the Kent Island Fisherman Club and I said, hey, I would like to do a fishing trip, but I don't have any boats. And I don't have any fishing rods, so can you guys tell me what we should do to make this happen? And the next thing I know, they came up with five to six boats. Everything was donated by the fisherman, Fisherman's Club. And they said, you know what, Nikki? You just worry about everything else. We'll do the fishing part of it. And right. hence, it has grown since then. It has, and uh, it's been just so much fun to be involved in helping with the, the Warriors. We also um, are give some benefit by uh, helping to donate to the Warriors as far as the equipment that they need for rehabilitation, right. uh, which Nikki, you know a lot more about that than I do. But it's, I mean, our whole club, it's really one of our focus things now is to help with the Wounded Warriors. Exactly. And in the 60 years that we've been doing this, we have raised over $98,000 for the Walter Reed Society. And every penny of that money is earmarked for new equipment and whatever these boys need and girls need at Walter Reed. And we are so very proud that we are a part of that. And like I said, we have all these boat captains who donate their boats, the gas, the slips, whatever it's need, it's all out there. It's at no cost to our soldiers. Uh, we bring them in on Friday night. We have a huge potluck uh, dinner for them where everybody gets to meet everybody. Right. And then we have to be at the pier at like 5 <laughs> o'clock in the morning, which is not fun. Early if bird we, gets the worm. This, or early, <laughs> early bird gets the fish. The <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then uh, we, get out the, we, get out, we get out in the water by 6 o'clock in the morning. And the one thing that we like to hear, fish on. Yeah. And... It, we catch a lot of fish, at least normally we, we usually max out. Yep. And then we get back in late, late afternoon, and then that evening everybody shows back up to the Legion, This is and this event is open up to the public. We have a Wounded Warrior Shrimp Feast, which is all you can eat shrimp, all you can eat beef, all you can drink sodas and waters and draft beer. We have a band, Country Memories Band is uh, playing this year. And then we have lots of games, fun, silent auctions that are going on for the whole evening. And all of it is, is geared to not necessarily raising money for the Wounded Warriors, but it's giving our community a chance to thank these soldiers, or heroes in my book, who have gone over and put themselves in harm ways for our freedoms. And it's very, very important that we take care of our veterans. And this is one way that Kent Island has stepped up to the plate and hit a home run because we do a very, very nice event for these boys. And every one of them have always wanted to return. They've made lifelong friends. They'll call up the guys in the fishing club during the summer and say, can we come down and go fishing? And we're like, yep. yeah, we're going to go right up and pick you up. So it's a great event. And, and I just can't keep, you know, being so happy about talking about it. Um, Mason, um, you're out on the boats with them. 
Give us some a little bit of experience about what you've done with the soldiers. Well, it's really amazing the the attitudes that these guys have from after going through the traumatic injuries that they've had, mm -hmm. along with their sometimes their wives or their family members, their handlers. It's just incredible how positive they right. are, uh, and it, it really does give you a good feeling that you're helping them and helping to thank them for the service that they've given. So it, it is a blast, and anybody that wants to be involved, please come join Ken Island Fishermen. It's no charge to join our club. We meet the first Wednesday of every month. But again, for this uh, Wounded Warriors thing, uh, it is a blast. You're right about that. And it is, a it is a quite an aggressive weekend. Like I said, we bring the soldiers in on Friday. We do a potluck on Friday night. On Saturday, we fish all day long. And then on Sunday, we get up early morning and bring them back up to the Legion where we do a turkey shoot or a target shooting for the right. guys where they get to go out there and they shoot the shotguns and have a good time. And then the Kent Island chefs, who are a part of the Kent Island Fisherman Club and some Legion members, all the fish we caught the day before, they fillet it up and they cook it. And let me tell you, you have never had rockfish so good unless you've had it by the Kent Island chefs. They do a fantastic job. Yeah. And then whatever we got left over, we package up and we send back to the soldiers uh, so they can enjoy it at their own home. Right, yeah, Dave Stith, who is our uh, chief chef, uh, has a special a uh, ingredients oh when yes. he does the fish fry so uh it's it, you don't want to miss it. no you don't <laughs> you don't and unfortunately the fish fry is only by invite only but if you know me or mason or whatever i'm sure we can get you in the door um but it's a great event it's one that ken island community uh stevensville graysonville queen anne's uh Queenstown, Centerville, everybody gets involved. There are so many sponsors for this event that sometimes we are just a little bit overwhelmed. But one big sponsor that I would like to send a shout out to is the Kent Island Beach House LLC owned by Donna Harrington. She graciously donates uh, her rental houses for us to put the soldiers up for the weekend. And that is a big, big thing. And these wow. places are really, really nice. Um, it's just a great event. It's something that we are very, very proud of. Um, it's all about taking care of the veterans and their families. And we hope to see everybody come down on the 26th of April to the Shrimp Feast. It's from 6 to 11 p.m. Please contact the Legion for more information and to reserve your tickets because they are at a premium. They do go by, they do go quick. And there are no guarantees that we can, uh, that we will have tickets available at the door at the day of. Um, Back to people who sponsor it, uh, the, all the children in Ken Island, they all write letters to the soldiers. And when the soldiers arrive on that Friday, we have letters plastered all over the Legion from the children of our community who write these wonderful, wonderful thank you notes for the soldiers. Um, all the businesses, they donate stuff for the silent auctions and everything. So it's not just a Legion or a fisherman event. It is truly, truly a community event and one Absolutely. that I'm extremely, extremely proud to be a part of. And I hope to see everybody from the community come out this year. Um, so Mason, I wanna thank you for coming out and, oh, and letting us know a little bit what the fishermen do. And it's just a pleasure to work with you and maybe we'll be out on the same boat again this year. And catch some fish. Always a good time and catch a lot of fish. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. This is Nikki Randolph with the latest edition of the Queen Anne's County Update. And as always, if you want more information, you can look us up on Facebook and we have everything posted there, slides, information, phone numbers. Have a great day and thank you.